where it looks like their casket is rising up from the ground. And then this one is very large and there's an opening in it. Oh! <gasps> What is up fam, welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Got Tiffany here with me. And this adventure is gonna start at nighttime. I think you need to make a left right there. And we're in the middle of some, wait, where did that car go that was right on her tail? I think he turned somewhere. Did he? I don't know where, but he did. One thing about going down these old country roads in the middle of nowhere, is that the cemetery right there? That's probably it. This is Ace, yeah, well there's the church. But why is it telling me to go up more? It's probably, yeah, it probably is a little bit further. Because that doesn't look like a, a church. 1800s church. Is that it? Dude, yeah, this is this so is the cemetery right here. Okay. Yeah, it's called Mount Gilead. Wow, it's dark. So the cemetery that we're getting ready to check out right now, it's very unique in itself, and that's why we're here. All the, the gravestones are in the shape of a tent. It's just, it's really strange. There's a lot of speculation as to why they designed these. Now, originally these were made out of sandstone and limestone, or limestone. I'm thinking maybe it was just a design at that particular time. But it's saying it's right here. I'm thinking it's where the cemetery was yeah, because behind us. In your thing, it said this location is hard to find. It's actually across the street from a tent. I mean, from a church. Right. And that was a church back there. There was a church with back a there. Across the street. Unless it's back here behind these people's houses. Was that a cauldron? A what? Hold on, I'm intrigued. It looked like a cauldron. What the hell is a cauldron? Like what witches cook with? Oh, that right there? Yeah. Oh wow. Are you able to shine your light on it? My camera oh, does oh, show wow. it. Yeah, my camera is looking, this looks a lot brighter on camera than what we can yeah, see. Yeah, because it's you can't even see it right now. Yeah, to the human eye, that's actually much darker. It looks so neat. Yeah, let me know here in the comments if you've ever lived by a cemetery and if you experienced anything out of the ordinary. Like I'm picturing people that live by a cemetery or like right across the street from one, maybe seeing and witnessing certain things, maybe hearing certain things, perhaps even having hauntings themselves on their properties. Who knows? Let me know. Couple homes here, and then I think the cemetery is on the right-hand side. They say it's right right across the street from the church, and we did prep past the church. But there is a lot. Oh, this is it right here. Oh, you this see is it? it? Yeah, these, okay, it's just so dark. Look, look how those are shaped. Whoa. Oh my gosh, they look so creepy. Look at this. You can't even read these. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, that has a hole in it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one's open too. There's letters on some of them. I'm thinking that just happened, you know, throughout time. The ground settling. Like, why did they do that? I don't know, this is really intriguing. Though. I've never seen graves look like this before. Can you read any of this? I see 1830 something. Oh, oh, this one you can see a little bit. 1874. Gosh. I see like it, eyes. Look, there's eyes right there. Oh wow, that looks wild. And then right here. It looks like glasses. Yeah, it says 1812. Bro, this place is scary. Some of these are all opened up. Look, that one is right there. To me, I think somebody really large was buried in this spot right here. Maybe the water table is sort of high, you know, here. Like, look, they're all different sizes. Like, this one's little. That one's little. That but, one's really little. And then this one is very large, and there's an opening in it. Oh, oh my gosh, look. To show you what's inside this opened up grave right now. Seems to me that they are buried six feet below ground, but they just put these stones over the bodies to keep animals out. Um, I see, it just says 1854. Thomas. So it's hard to read. This is a really old cemetery. Yeah. Look, they're all like this. That one got sucked into the ground. Look at that. How far 
far back do these ones go? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, look at this. That completely yeah. collapsed. Well, is that the box or is that like sand? No, that's like a another wall, another stone. I wonder if that was granite rock. You know, it was probably really beautiful years ago. Oh, look at this. Oh, was that a baby? It's like a sheep or a goat. A lamp. That's what I meant. A lamp. to 1908. Oh, he was, he was five. Aw, rest in peace, little guy. Look, there's some over here like they're all by themselves. Sometimes they say that usually it's people that have done something wrong. Really? That's a thing? Yeah. They'll usually put their their headstones the other way, too. Dussel? Dussel? Two? Two years old? Was born November the 22nd, 1858. Died March the 28th, 1860. Aww. Yeah, I'm not sure why this one was all on its own like that. Wow, that one's completely in the ground. Yeah, there's like little ones. This is so wild. I've never seen anything like this. In case you're wondering, we're in a place called Mount Gilead, or Gilead. It means witness, something along those lines. But we're in Tennessee. It's a small rural town in between Nashville and Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah, there's not much out here, let alone a cell phone signal. But there's beautiful historic graves like this. And there has been some talks amongst locals about this being kind of like a forgotten place I mean, it looks like people are coming here and cutting the grass so that's a good thing but i mean look at some of these stones have fallen apart look at that definitely poorly maintained oh my oh, gosh wow. what the heck this completely got swallowed up these mushrooms i'm wondering if that had anything to do with these large trees that were here Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, like cause look at this root right here. I'm thinking that had something to do with... I, mean, I could be wrong. Oh. That sounded like something was walking back there. Sound like someone was walking behind you? Yeah, you even heard... You didn't hear the, like... I heard, like, a lawnmower or something. That sounds like a chainsaw. What is this over here? What? Is that like wood or is that something? Like I have something? no idea. Why the heck is? I mean, it's late at night time. What? Why is would that somebody a chainsaw? Maybe somebody's playing Jason or something. Man, all of these have been swallowed up. Look at that. But there was a ginormous tree that was here too. What the heck? Okay, so somebody was born there in 1879. They usually don't put the dates that they die because this is like their future yeah. burial is that person still alive from 1870 how or old they got buried somewhere else like maybe they didn't I use this pot. don't know that's very strange look at that and they didn't want to be buried next to each other i don't know i mean what is that, is that talking you hear talking that's a dog. This place is freaky. Oh, this one was buried right by a tree. Right, just to give you an example how large are these trees. I mean, they, they cut down a lot of them, but I mean, look at that one. Oh my gosh. That, I'm not even going to show what's in there. You might see the actual body. Whoa, that one's like really... I think yeah. Can you, shine a light here? Can you see anything? I don't know. I need more light. Like there's a huge hole. Oh, that's a big hole in there. Man, how many of these are there? I don't know. Oh, it looks like it stops here. This looks like... Maybe this was the original cemetery... And then 
What the hell is that? I keep hearing noises. All right, look, back in the day, I used to be afraid of going to like cemeteries at nighttime. One of my biggest fears, I conquered that by spending the night one time at probably the most haunted cemetery. I mean, at least in the state of Florida where I'm from. If you see that I'm scared and stuff, it's not because I'm scared of like being at a cemetery. And I mean, it is creepy. What I'm scared of are like big animals or like somebody out here creeping up on us. Hey, there is a car coming. first car I've seen go on this road other than ours yeah there are a ton of these then when you go a little bit more that what do you have your phone yeah because remember the car got locked last time I left the key in it yeah I can unlock the car from my phone that's all I want to make sure you had your phone just in case yeah. what the hell is that, is that? hello Looks like there's people still getting buried here. I mean, these look like pretty new. <laughs> That's not new. Herschel, yeah, Herschel. Nineteen fifty-eight. It's buried like right around the time my parents were born. But this looks like a really nice headstone. All these are really beautiful. I'll fix this. I think that's where it was at. What the heck? What? what is this? Why does it look like it's lifted up from the ground? I don't know. That's Ew. really... There's two. Like, there, there's... It's like lifting up off the ground. Whoa, that's really wild. Wait. What is that? It's a brick. Whoa. What is that? Wild. All right, I'm not sure why. It looks like this person that was buried here wasn't buried that deep or it looks like their casket is rising up from the ground i've never seen anything like that before yeah, but that's it. It, doesn't rise. it does but i mean i don't know aren't they all supposed <laughs> to rise i mean that's quite literal <laughs> yeah look at this one Whoa. wow i'm thinking the land that we're on is on a giant sinkhole and getting swallowed up over time i mean i don't know but if things are sinking what like be... look at that oh look there's a hole in the ground over here oh, what well, oh my god what is that oh my god it sounded like there was somebody walking towards us you heard that, what is that? yeah what is that go don't look at me look over there there's somebody over there You heard that too, Maybe right? something doesn't want us walking that way. I was gonna... What is that? I don't know. There's another one. Is that two more of those little graves that are... Yeah, there's some of them. Look, so... Ooh, I'm like scared. There's another see. tent grave over there. Just one. And then... But look at, look at how this collapsed. Walking towards us. Oh, did you? That was a whistle. Was that not just a whistle? I don't know what it was. What? 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 Dude, I just heard it again. I think we're just freaking ourselves no, out. No, I legit heard like it was shuffling in the grass. I hate it when you. I can't see when you shine the light at me. One of the biggest explanations that I kept seeing online. Uh, what is that? I think that was just a dog. It's very quiet out here, so any little noise you hear. But like I was saying, one of the biggest explanations online as to why they built the graves like this in the tent shape, and I already mentioned this, was to keep animals out. What if there was a lot of animals out here at one point? I mean, maybe there still is. I mean, bears, there's mountain lions out here. What if they had reports of when they would bury their dead at the cemetery, animals would come and, and dig them up, so they put these special boulders 
you know, like that on top of them being buried to, to keep animals away. But how come these are that way and some of these other ones aren't? I don't know, it's very strange. Look, this one collapsed too. Oh, this looks pretty new. Yep, 2000. 2000. Oh man, Brian, Brian was young. Yeah. Rest in peace, Brian. Look. What? There's another grave like popping up out, out of the ground. It's another casket. Is that one over there or is that just a reflection of something? No, there? some of these are coming out of the ground. Like literally, like they're rising from the dead. I've never seen anything like this. Look, they're, like all of these, you can see the outline. Look, look at this one. It's another one. Aw, it says mom. mom. Yeah. Oh, well, oh that's... So this cool. is new. And they, they didn't bury them that low. Maybe they just don't bury them that deep here. It has, I think it has something to do with the water table. Well, that says 2004. 2004? Yeah. Wait. What? No, this person was just buried here, Donald. Oh, so they haven't put his... his yeah, they haven't done the engraving yet. Rest in peace, Donald. Yeah. Look at that. What? I think Donald was thanking me. Oh, wow, it is blowing. Look at that. Yeah. I'm so sad for the family. Donald wasn't even that old. Like, just a couple of years older than my parents. Oh. Yeah, see, look, look, it says right here. Husband, see? Husband. And then the wife was... I guess the wife had passed away beforehand. I think. Oh, let me double check. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. Patricia passed away in 2004. She died wow, fairly they young. Both very young. Like in the, yeah, it says father and mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May you rest in peace. May your family be at peace, too. Oh, they were married in 96. March 11th, it's a couple days before my birthday. Yeah. Not my will, but thine be done. Mm -hmm. Like God's will be done. Are there graves all the way out there? In the... Yeah, there's graves like all the way out there. I'm just hoping that those sounds we heard wasn't like an animal. I know, that's what I'm worried about. That's something that panthers like to do, not just panthers, uh, the mountain lions. Oh, yeah, and there's, like, some low brush Whoa, right what is that over there? I almost see another, like, a gravestone or something over there. Like, all by itself. Could be wrong. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, this one looks like it still has flowers getting put on it. Yeah, so, I mean, it seems like maybe some of the locals or maybe the church comes out here and takes care of the place. What is that big dirt now? That is dirt from where they more than likely buried someone they they dug through the ground whoa okay. oh this oh, it felt like a big hole that probably came from that grave that we just came from right now yeah that happened really that happened not long ago yeah some of these are really old and they they look great yeah. i think the only ones that you know with respect to its age that don't look the the best is those ones that are in the the tent shape but over the years, burying the dead has come with new technology, of course. I'm sure they didn't have the best building materials back then. And here's another one right here. We should probably not be close to Pounson area. Uh, like over here? There's yeah. there's fences there, though. It looks like marble. Yeah. You know, if somebody were to come here and put some... You know some love into that they could probably bring it back to what it used to look like marble and granite are very beautiful stones but over time oh look at this it's a moth i think oh wow that does have some beautiful writing on it you could still read too life of wb campbell 1882 i have to say for you know being 1800s Gravestone, yeah, that's in. Does that say vampire? Where? No, it says Campbell. Sorry. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what are you seeing? Seeing the way they buried, uh, you know, the most recent grave that we've seen, like. There is something in those woods, 
and it is breaking a lot of sticks. <gasps> what the hell's that? I say we uh, get in get the car. In the car? Oh, yeah. oh, shoot. Smoking Almost tripped. Today. All right, we're leaving. There's definitely something out there. You're not allowed to follow us home if there's something evil here. Please stay. I'm thinking something with these grounds, you know, maybe with the, the water table or maybe the root system. Maybe there, there used to be a lot of big trees here and you can't dig so deep in the ground. I think that's the reason why they buried their dead, covering them up. Maybe at some point they couldn't dig down six feet and animals would come here and sad to say, steal the bodies. So I think that's why they put the graves like that. And I think at some point they were able to build stronger caskets and that's why we've seen some of those like outlines of caskets i don't know let me know here in the comments what you think what's the reason why they built these tent style graves was it for style was it because of the animals was it something to do with the water table maybe the root system the ground hopefully somebody around here watches you and they can answer it definitely unique pretty cool in my opinion i have no idea i mean i know some of you guys watch my videos because i i make haunted videos and kind of explore haunted places with some haunted history to me it was more about the uniqueness of the cemetery and you know it just had me asking more questions than anything like why anyways if you did see something or hear something maybe something that we missed in this video uh, even though this wasn't a haunted video let me know here in the comments i'd like to know big shout out to tiffany for joining me on this adventure if you get a chance to come to the area please check it out i would come during the day so you could really so i mean there might be some things that we missed because it's nighttime and it's so dark plus it was uh there was something in the in the woods across the street i think it was eyeballing us maybe it was gonna eat us <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button and check out some of my other cool and unique cemetery videos. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.